You've seen them together plenty of times, but get them apart, and you might see some things you didn't expect. You know, Velma's not the only smart one. There's no one I'd rather work with. Oh. Daphne, ditch the pump. Old Man River. Welcome to those meddling kids. 25 hours of dew. 25 hours of episodes, little-known facts, and first-time interviews. The truth is finally unmasked. Next on Cartoon Network. Those meddling kids. Case one. Those meddling kids get started. Well, Daddy gave us the money to start off. We didn't even have a car, so we gave our parents gas money to drive us around. Look, guys, a haunted house. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, right. Pull over, Daddy. Pull over. You're not going into any old, dirty house, little missy. Seeking their independence, they bought a van and called it the Mystery Machine. Shaggy found it. It was interesting. It's groovy. <laughs> After that, they skyrocketed to fame, setting new precedents for the whole crime-solving industry. We didn't wait for stuff to come to us. We went straight out and found those monsters ourselves. Monsters? Those meddling kids, case two, that meddling dog, Scooby-Doo. Sure, at first we were thinking, okay, a dog with an Adam's apple, a little strange. We got used to it. So when he started talking, it really wasn't a big deal for us. But despite his special gift, Scooby did have his shortcomings. I don't think I've ever seen an animal get as scared as Scooby does sometimes. What about Shaggy? <laughs> as the Mystery Inc. crew bonded, Scooby-Doo would with soulmate Shaggy Rogers form perhaps the most enduring partnership since Holmes and Watson. Like things just click, you know? Now when the gang needs bait for a villain, like they send us in, it's what we do, and I'll tell you. There's no one I'd rather work with. He said that? Oh. You think Scooby gets scared with the monsters? Try finding him when it's time to go to the vet. Vet? Those meddling kids. Case three. Shaggy. That meddling hippie. The gang's most cowardly biped, Shaggy, was in fact known as Buzz until his 10th birthday. Some people may think Shaggy because Scooby's always stealing his food. That's not it. It's because he's a vegetarian. But as healthy as Shaggy tries to stay, he has battled unhealthy habits. The thing is, for a few months when I was like overdoing it with the Scooby snacks. At one point, I calculated that he had eaten exactly 45% of his body weight. Zoinks! I had to quit! Instead, Shaggy turned to a new hobby. I have the largest collection of decorator belt buckles in the world. 653 at last count. I'm wearing my favorite one right now. Like it's hard to catch, but I wear a different buckle for every mystery. You just gotta pay attention. Those meddling kids, case four. That meddling kid, Daphne. Daphne Blake has become known as the most fashionable member of Mysteries, Inc. But there's more to her than appearance. You know, Velma's not the only smart one. I get straight A's. We've said, Daphne, we're in a muddy swamp. Ditch the pumps. Even as a child, Daphne was interested in solving mysteries. What do you want to be when you grow up, Daphne? I want to be a supermodel. A supermodel? And a detective. Oh. Her aspirations have had a toll on her personal life at times. I was late joining the gang at Old Man Johnson's farm. I've lost more dates that way. Although there have been rumors of something between Daphne and Fred. Who told you that? We're friends. We're friends. Scooby! Those meddling kids. Case 5. Thelma, that meddling brain. The youngest member has certainly had a big impact on the group. Jinkies! 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 I was so surprised. It, it just came out. Jinkies, I'm getting worried about Captain Morgan. Before, I just said, oh my. It wasn't as catchy. <laughs> Thelma Dinkley's parents pushed her from an early age to excel in her studies, resulting in hundreds of awards for outstanding achievement. Because of this, she can be a bit more vocal than her comrades would like. That heart case is big enough to hide something. I wonder where this... Oh, come on, Fred. Isn't it obvious? 
Of course, Velma does do her share of sweet talking, too. Scooby, will you do it for a few Scooby snacks? Okay. Those meddling kids. Key six, Fred and that meddling ascot. And that thing must get steamy. Ascot, I like how it looks. By all counts, Fred Jones is the boy who has everything. Looks, yes, but smarts and talent, too. In fact, Fred traveled with a performance troupe before devoting himself to solving mysteries. With his dramatic training, he's really an expert at getting into the mind of the villain. Sometimes when we're scared, Fred sings a little something from Showboat. It soothes us. Old Man River. Fred one day hopes to be a famous mystery writer, where he can use all of his talents to the fullest. I just really feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. For me. Those meddling kids. Key seven. Those finger-pointing villains. Would have been mine if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. Hadn't been for those meddling kids. If it wasn't for you, Snoopers. Hadn't been for those meddling kids. You've heard it time and time again. But who said it first? I did. I did. Who dares defy me? They are the villains. You don't learn this till you've been in the biz a while. See, the key is the hidden door. Whoa! Ordinary people on the wrong side of justice. Oh, yes, I was groomed to be an astronaut. And then the monkey. The monkey took my rightful place! And how do they feel about Scooby and his gang? In a word, anger. I cannot speak without my lawyer. They could have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling... Oh, those meddling kids. Case 8. Those meddling kids together again. They've solved more than 200 mysteries together. What did they learn through it all? Watch out for paintings that blink. Yeah, what is it with bad guys and portraits anyway? We haven't been in one haunted house that had a landscape on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember the time with that evil gorilla guy? Let me tell you. We only catch this joker in a gorilla suit, and it was... He was stuck in town. <laughs> right, right. And Freddy goes to pull off the mask, only it doesn't come off. Yeah, and this guy is <laughs> screaming. Like it turned out to be a real gorilla. <laughs> That's what it really comes down to. Find a mystery, run around, trap a bad guy, rip his mask off. And have a bunch of fun doing it, too. No! <laughs> I love you guys. Knock it off. Dooby dooby doo, where are you? We got some work to do now. Dooby dooby doo, where are you? We need some help from you now. You know we got a mystery to solve. Dooby dooby, ready for your ass. Will it?